Does anybody know why these are so popular? I think I look weird. I remember at the end of my first semester of college, I was feeling good, I was doing good, I was doing well in Java programming, and I was like one of the youngest people in the class. And I'll never forget, I had a conversation with an upperclassman who ended up being my mentor, and it went a little something like this. Yo, I'm about to take intro to programming with Professor Bruh. Bro, no, do not take any classes with Professor Bruh. He is my advisor, and he failed me twice. He asks way too much. He thinks we're way smarter than what we really are, bro. Take it with Professor Bruh. Like you took Java with Professor Bruh. It's a cakewalk, bro. I feel confident, and I'm really... I'm ready to learn. I was reading Rate My Professor, and a lot of people said, if you're willing to learn and put in the extra work, you'll be successful in this class, and that's what I wanna do. All right, man, whatever you say, but don't say I didn't warn you. <sighs> I bet you all know where this is going. Fast forward to the end of second semester. I'm getting on a plane to California, literally California. And I look at my grade for Intro to Computer Science that I decided to take with Professor What's His Name, and I had a 56%. When I mean my heart had like dropped to my dropped inside of my stomach because it just so happened that the day that I was on my way to California, currently in Texas, was the last day that you could drop a class. To make a long story short, I ended up dropping the class, taking coastal kayaking because I needed more credit hours to fulfill my scholarship, and I used my summer internship as a credit hour to get my 30 credit hours for the year. I should have listened. Number one, if you all haven't guessed already, listen to upperclassmen. It will save you a lot of headache in the future. I wish I knew how to code, at least the basics, because if you get the conceptual part, once you start courses, you can get your feet wet and you can get more experience with hands-on programming. If you already know the basics and the conceptual part of programming, such as functions, Boolean statement, if else, types, loops, classes, you always have an extra step on your curriculum and on the other students around you because you already started out with more of an understanding than most. If you struggle with the basics, especially when it comes to programming in C++ or Java or pretty much any other language, it's hard for you to continue because when you start working on files and functions but you don't understand how types work, you're gonna get a bunch of weird errors. Man, I thought an A- minus was the same thing as an A or the same thing as an A plus because in high school when it came to our semester grades there were no minuses and there were no pluses. I get to college, yo, I got two A minuses, two B minuses, and a B bro, I'm pumped. You know that's like a 3.045? Dude, what are you talking about? The lowest grade I got was a 3.0 and I got a 4.0. I got more than one 3.0. Dude. A B minus is a 2.67. You joking, right? No, bro, I'm serious. A C minus is a 1.67. A C is a 2.0. A C plus is a 2.33. A B minus is a 2.67. You get the pattern? Man, I got so many B minuses. Mr. Calhoun, come here. I can't accept this. This is late. Boy, don't you know that they don't accept late work in college? But it's only been five seconds. I don't care, I ain't your mama. I understand, professor, it won't happen again. I will be better prepared for your classroom and I'll be better prepared for the collegiate world. All right, class, time to go over the syllabus. You know the standard, no cheating. A C is a 2.0, a C plus is a 2.3, a B minus is a 2.67. You all get the pattern. Uh, quick, quick question. Go ahead, uh, G, 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 yes? It's Jossie, but I was just wondering if you will accept any late assignments because my English teacher- Late assignments? What are those? You all are young, aspiring computer scientists. We need you all to turn in all your assignments completed. Therefore, I will only be docking 1% per four months late. Here's the thing, fam. I'm spilling all the tea. And I understand your English teacher wants you to do really well in college and they care about you. That's super important. You are young in your computer science curriculum. It is more important to turn in a late 
completed assignment than a half done late assignment. If it don't work, you're probably gonna get an F. One semicolon can ruin your whole project. I'm not trying to scare you. Grammatical errors are usually the easiest ones to figure out. Guys, failure is okay. This is not high school. You have to throw all those old habits and most of those ideals out the window. One of the things that I live by is that nothing worthwhile is gonna come easy. So I look at failure as just stumbling blocks, obstacles that are meant to be passed. You learn and grow so much from failure and you always wanna learn, you always wanna experience new things in life, which helps shape you as a charismatic, tremendous individual. Michael Jordan didn't make his JV basketball team. One thing that I always, always, always kept in mind is that I understood that the major I'm in is very, very difficult. So I would much rather struggle in a major that's difficult, but has an amazing, amazing plethora of job opportunities, post-grad opportunities, internships. I would much rather struggle, get a lower GPA in computer science and do another major that's a lot easier and the career path just isn't as promising. Keep all those things in mind. Those of you who are young, aspiring computer scientists, I'm so happy, I'm so proud of you. If you are still here watching this video, give it a like, comment below some other video ideas or just questions about computer science, software development slash engineering, what language to study and all that good stuff. And also smash that subscribe button so you can stay connected and be a part of the family. I'm gonna be my king. With that being said, I'm losing a lot of natural light. I'm gonna see you all soon. Have a blessed week. Peace.